Yep, it's a brand new day. All right, I was going to stand right here. Family, friends, if you'd please get close as you can. I don't want you to miss it because I'm going to really be picking on them a lot. <laughs> Listen, I, first of all, I just want to—I want to say thank you to everybody that that traveled and then made the trip to come here to be here for Mike and Iris. As I've told you before, it is truly an honor to do this, and it's a privilege for me to unite you in matrimony. It is unbelievable for me. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about the New Testament. You know, as you talk about the Bible and stuff, you know, the one thing I've kind of learned, and the New Testament, if you look at the Bible, the number one selling book in the world every year, by the way, in my Bible, there's only 333 pages in the New Testament. 333 pages in my Bible. And arguably, I mean, it, it changed the world in 2016 years ago, the New Testament. The guy that wrote more than half of this, his name was Paul, the Apostle Paul. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna quiz the kids on this a little later. <laughs> Paul, he was this guy. He was a Roman soldier way back in the day, and he he wasn't a nice guy the whole time. He was a uh, matter of fact, he was a commander in the Roman army. One of the things that, that Paul did, one of his assignments, was to seek out and persecute Christians. And so, as the story goes, you talk about the power of love. Because that's what today is all about. The power of love. And to see what Paul, how he, how he transformed. He's on his road to Damascus. And he's got a group with him and he's going to persecute Christians. And it's written that his men and he heard a voice from the sky. And it says, Paul. Why are you persecuting my people? Why are you killing them? And um, hits him with a lightning bolt. Blows him off of his horse. And I mean, he's down and he's blinded. Paul was blinded. And simultaneously, Jesus comes to a man in the town of Damascus. His name is Ananias. Now, there's a quiz on this later. Ananias. He comes to Ananias in a dream and he says, Ananias, I need you to go to the camp. And I want you to I want you to pray for Paul. And uh, <laughs> you have to think about this. And uh, if that was me, I, I'd say, "No, Jesus, you take this." But I, I'm going down there. It'd be like going to ISIS headquarters and uh, pray for him. Well, that's essentially what Ananias did. And, it, and it's written that Ananias goes down to the camp, walks into the tents, and and he gets down on his knees and he hugs Paul and he prays for him. And almost instantaneously, they say that the, the men report that like scales, like fish, came off of his eyes, and he came to sight again. And um, after that day, Paul becomes the biggest advocate for the New Testament for Christ. He starts preaching out about it, and he becomes like a hero. And, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But, you know, as we, you know, as you, as you talk about love. mean to them on this day we hope your happiness keeps getting better and better and lasts a lifetime we moved here in april 2014 mike and iris moved in not long after that what a great couple as we really got to know them and our friendship grew we could tell they were made for each other just little things they do show how much they love care for each other. If you're having one of those blah blah days, all you have to do is talk with Mike and Iris. They will always brighten your day. Always brighten your day. We hope our friendship lasts a lifetime. Thank you for all the good times we've had. It's great to see two wonderful people like you getting married. Love and best wishes. Your friends are on. We have known Iris for almost 40 years. She 
She's become part of our family. We have been her, we have been with her through good times and bad. When Mike came into her life three years ago, we knew it was the beginning of a part of the good times that we would share. We have known Mike for a short time, but realized from the very beginning that he is a loving, giving, forgiving person. And knowing his history, we know that this union was meant to be. As we mature in life, finding someone whose history not only loves you, but respects you, accepts you for who you are is truly a blessing. We wish them many years of love and happiness. And we hope to share that with them. Love Bob and Nancy. P.S. May your first child be master. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your other friends. Yeah. Yeah. From the time we are born, our lives change constantly. First, there's mom and dad next to school years, and as we progress in school, we meet new friends. Some we keep in contact with, but some fall by the wayside. In our working years, the same scenario plays out on a whole different level. In our retirement years, things really change. We strive to find friendship, and we found too. Iris and Mike. We don't know too much about them, but we do know what is so visible is that they are always there for us. They seem to thrive on helping others when needed or volunteer to help when not even asked. They are fun-loving people, radiate accomplishing this. They have the ability to turn a quiet get-together into a fun-filled evening. They do something many of us do not do enjoy life to its fullest. Harrison Clay. And the last from your family.